Welcome back to another patch notes video for Paladins, and this one will be going over 1.9, Merry Mayhem. Now, this is the first patch since HRX, so it's a fairly big one. You can see all the content here. A lot of it is this new event that's coming out, which we'll go over right now. Um, actually, no, we won't. We'll go over this new map first. New Siege Map, Warder's Gate. Um, first map with asymmetrical art. Each side features a unique visual theme. Uh, this theming also improves gameplay clarity, making it easier to identify your location on the map, plus catch some air with magical anti-gravity crystals. Not sure how I feel about the anti-gravity crystals. It could either be super, super fun and make the game awesome, or it could be like Call of Duty Black Ops 3 jetpack type of awful. So <laughs> we'll have to see about that. Um, Black Ops 3 was the one with the jets, jetpacks, right? Or did I just, I don't know. Not a huge Call of Duty fan. I just remember that game was terrible with the booster packs or whatever you want to call them. So this is a little preview of the map. I'm not going to go over the whole thing. That looks really cool though. It kind of gives me this very vaguely Night Elf, like Homeland vibe in World of Warcraft. Or starting area. I just called it a Homeland, but you know what I mean. Not a whole lot, just that wooded area, but you could definitely see the difference. This area is just beautiful. We got, I don't know if that's tiling on the ground, but it, it's well built. And then over here, it's just like straight jungle. So really cool. I do like that. You can definitely tell what they meant by the clarity. So I will link this website down in the description if you want to check out that whole video yourself. So since this map is one of our most ambitious, we'll be testing it thoroughly throughout our two week PTS cycle. We expect it to be out in 1.9, but may extend it to ensure the best level of quality. We also have two test maps here being Deathgate and Thrones. I'm not sure if these are new maps they're adding or these were carried over from the previous testing. Um, I never tested them, so I have no clue. I'm pretty sure once you do test the maps though, it just looks like this. It's not like, you know, fully detailed out yet. Hence the test map. The new event being Merry Mayhem um, is pretty much like the, um, Dark Tides event, if you remember that. I'm not gonna go over this in full detail. Basically how it works is like every week or so, they're going to bring out a new set of challenges. If you complete that challenge, you get this thing called a suite, I'm pretty sure. And once you collect those suites, you can spend them in the event store. But the only way to access the event store is by purchasing at least one bundle. So if you remember from the Dark Tides event, they had like their own separate store where you could get some really cool stuff basically by just playing. Same concept, except again, you have to at least buy one bundle in order to access the store. So understandable to a point because they are kind of essentially giving you some free stuff. So in order to make up for that, they make you at least buy one thing. Not the worst thing in the world, but so the sweet collector here available in 1.9 patch release, the first reward, um, or is it? Yeah, the first reward is gonna give you four sweets for completing it. As, long, as well as 15,000 gold, the Rowdy Courser, I'm not sure what that is, and the Static Avatar. Once you get the second one, which will be available on the 19th, you're gonna get four suites, 30,000 gold, and a gold chest. And then the third one, which will be available on the 26th of December, you're gonna get five suites, 60,000 gold, and a festive chest. So how the access works, you must Players can only access Dredge's Secret Sweet Shop. Wow, that's a mouthful. Secret Sweet Shop if they own a stocking which comes with any Merry Mayhem event bundle. So you buy the bundle, you get this little thing called a stocking, which doesn't really do anything. It just tells you you can access the store. Sweets, players collect sweets to spend in the event store by completing the weekly challenges and purchasing event bundles. Unspent sweets will automatically be exchanged for a thousand gold at the end of the event, even if a player did not purchase an event bundle. All right, so that's cool. So no matter what, you're pretty much getting free gold out of it at the least, so that's awesome. Event store content. So for one suite, these are the different things you can get. We have a spray, avatar, emote, MVP pose, three suites, um, kind of similar stuff. Some death stamp, a legendary emote, 3D spray, roaming emote, and then five skins. We get five skins, five suites. We get two new skins here, I think, at least. Barrier, Reef, Makoa, and Tough Cookie. I'm like 100% sure those are new. These might be, it looks like this is cutesy Leon right here, Leon, however you say it. Um, this might be the cutesy Yeti avatar. Um, I'm not sure. You can put those together and piece them if you want. I'm pretty sure those are going to be some of the things available up here. So the first bundle is that's available is the Merry Maker Dredge bundle. This includes Merry Maker Dredge, which looks like this, which is pretty cool. Don't see a whole lot of detail in it, but he kind of just looks like Santa. Um, 
I'm, my concern is that he's not going to look enough like Santa, because I think that's what they're going for, but I'm not sure that's going to be pulled off based on this player card. Um, along with that, you'll get Thar She Blows MVP for him, along with five sweets and the stocking, which just lets you use the store. So each... Okay, so I like that. Every time you buy a bundle, you basically can get two free skins if you want, because you're going to get this bundle, or you're going to get the skin along with five sweets, and it takes five sweets in order to get one of these skins. So that is pretty cool. We have the Abominable Terminus bundle. It's just an Abominable Snowman, pretty self-explanatory. You get the skin, Rage, Terminus, MVP pose, five sweets, and then the stocking. And then finally, we have Merry Maker Leon, which I think, yeah, I was going to say, I think that was her up here. Now, before I lose this thought, I'm pretty sure um, High Res Alyssa put up, or I think it's like Evil Mojo Alyssa now, but whatever, put up a poll on Twitter today asking people to vote if they want the her gun to have a scope on it or not. And last time I checked, the non-scope was winning, so this scope you see here might be removed when the skin comes out. I'm not sure. I don't know why else they would run that poll, so that might happen. Finally, I think finally, yeah. Finally, we have uh, Merrymaker Maeve. Um, so it looks like Leon takes on the role of Mrs. Claus and Maeve is an elf. I, I don't know, I guess. <laughs> so unlock the Merrymaker Maeve bundle free by purchasing all three Merry Mayhem event bundles. So this is basically the, it was a Victor skin. It was like the werewolf Victor skin. That basically acts as this. So once you buy the previous three bundles up here, you're going to get this one for free, which comes with the skin, an MVP pose, an iced out limited title, 10 suites, and an ice palace limited loading frame. So basically purchasing all three bundles is going to give you 10, 15, 20, 25 suites, which will give you the two skins guaranteed and like pretty much every other thing. So that is, if you buy all the bundles, you're pretty much guaranteed everything in the store essentially. Um, okay, so this skin will only be available, or no, the skin will be available for direct purchase after the event is over, and it's going to cost 1,200 crystals. Again, this doesn't specify, but if it is like the Victor skin from the previous event, you'll be able to buy this skin directly for 1,200 crystals, but you won't get the content inside. It, you won't get the MVP pose, you won't get the title, just the skin. I think it's called like an unlimited skin or something like that. The Victor one was like the first one. So the Merry Mayhem event calendar. Don't forget to log in every day from the 17th to 30th to see what special event Dredge has in store. Unlock free sprays, bonus gold, and XP. So first day we have 100% bonus pass, uh, bo bonus battle pass experience. First win of the day reward you get a Chibi Grover spray. 19th all supports and damage champions are free. Two times all end of match rewards. First win of the day reward gets a Chibi King Bomb. Chibi Bomb King Spray. Bonus performance goal, 200% bonus battle pass experience. First win of the day reward gets you a Chibi Eevee Spray. All champions are free. Bonus performance goal, Chibi Makoa, 100% battle pass. All flanks and front lines are free. And then Chibi Knessa. So these are actually pretty good rewards. For me, the free champions mean literally nothing because I do have them all. But the ones that I'm looking forward to are these 200% Battle Pass experience and the 100%. Those are going to be absolutely amazing. We also have this gift giving bundle. Take to the skies with Sugar Plum Willow and grace your friends with epic skins this holiday season. So you purchase this for $9.99, so it does cost real money, which everything does. But you're going to get the skin. You're going to get 200 crystals and two large gift tokens, which are a 600 crystal value, can be used in place of 300 crystals when purchasing a large gift for a friend. Okay, um, so I'm, so it's two large gift tokens, which is a 600 crystal value, can be used in place of 300 crystals when purchasing a large gift. I don't know exactly what that wording is supposed to say, um, but essentially... You pay $10, you get a cool skin, you get some crystals, and you get to gift for your friends. It's essentially for the holidays, you know, if you want to get your friend a skin or something like that. And basically, it just allows you to get a skin with it. So, customizations, we have the voice pack chest. Is this new? Contains voice packs for every champion. It cost 125 crystals per roll, I'm guessing. Updated the gold weapon textures for Grover as well as Ash. 
All right, finally on to the bounces. Update 1.9 is the last update this season. It's a relatively minor balance pass ahead of our next update. Minor? I thought this was a fairly large one. I can't wait to see the next one then. Um, which will feature massive new season balance changes. Ex expect major adjustments to the item store, champion base abilities, champion talents, and cards. Oh wow, so they might change this game completely yet again. <laughs> All right. We'll be hosting special shows on Mixer to discuss upcoming season changes. Follow us on social media for more details. So in general, reduce the magnitude of the camera shake or aim punch that players received while taking damage. Oh, I think I know what that's talking about. That is kind of annoying. Furia, Kindled Soul gets a cooldown reduction from five seconds to four seconds. Dredge Scuttle now has damage fall off. Ying added a unique sound of life exchange when successfully healing an ally with shatter. Oh, there actually is not a lot of balances. These are all bug fixes, so I do take that back. There are only three balances with a lot of bug fixes, so you can read over those if you want. I'm not going to go over them, and there we go. So that is it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like and hit subscribe for more patch notes like this. Thank you for watching.